In this movie, the third one of the drawing tool section, we'll look at more sophisticated implementations, or at least the beginning of some of the more sophisticated implementations using the tool sets that we have in this program. We're going to create our first organic shape. Uh, it sounds rather pedestrian, but we'll do a uh, tree trunk and the branches, no leaves yet. And we're going to use a tool that we didn't look at in the last movie, and that's the add point tool. This is kind of a funny hybrid tool, and if you're coming from something like Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator, this is probably the closest to the pen tool of the tools we have available to work with. In this one, you use it a little bit differently. And the reason I say it's hybrid and pointed out in the last movie with the drawing tools is that it does function a little bit differently in the fact that you can use this to add points to existing objects. For example, if we have a square and I come back to the add point tool which is the keyboard shortcut A for add I can click anywhere on the lines and simply add points to it not a big deal let me go ahead and select all those keyboard shortcut G for the selection tool I'll click in the middle and delete I'll come back to the add point tool keyboard shortcut A with that selected I'll click once and there's point and if I click again there's another point now notice there's no line in between connecting them and this is where it's different than a normal pen drawing tool and by normal I just mean uh, what's standardized with those other drawing packages but let me show you how you can begin using these and an important feature to have on right now that you'll see is on by default is up here in the top of the workspace is we have the auto weld feature well what if I wanted to actually connect these two lines well with the add point tool what you do is click on a point and drag to the next point. You can see this line right now. And if I drag it right to that point, it will actually replace the point or connect it to it. It's auto welded to it. Now, if I wanted to bring the line down to here, I need to click right on that point and then drag. And so it automatically connects. And if I do it again, now we've got something interesting happen. You'll notice that this is a sharp point, the second point we've drawn. But this third one has a curve to it. This is where this tool acts a little bit like that pen tool and that you get some Bezier types of uh, curves going on, but you don't have any handles to control how much curve is actually taking place. How do you do that with this program? Well, you come up here to the little curve adjustment tool, and that's the curvature tool C, and that right next to it we've got one that looks similar, a little bit different, called the delete edge tool, if you actually want to delete an edge. And we will, but not at the moment. So I'm going to come back to our curve adjustment tool, keyboard shortcut C. I can click on this node, and by dragging left or right, I can increase the amount of the curve that's going on. You'll notice that when we had come down earlier to this little uh, point tool we had, the peak tool, keyboard shortcut P, that if I engage that, it automatically just switches this to a pure point that we don't want to work on. And you may be asking, well, why was that one curved and this one wasn't? It has to do with the fact of how we happen to join those up. Anytime you have a contiguous path going on where you start and then you keep going without interruption, you'll get curves. If we have an interrupted line and then pick up with it later, you get a perfect linear or angular juncture, which is very useful, but it's important to know how those things start working together. So this point that I just converted with the peak tool, if I press the keyboard shortcut C for our curve tool again, click on that point and drag, I can smooth that back out again. So that's pretty easy for that, but now let's see how we start connecting and putting some of these things into function together. Keyboard shortcut G for select and I'm going to just click on the edge and make sure we get all of those. Now watch what happens when I delete that. You'll notice we have our first line. That's because when we broke that and terminated that drawing session, Anime is treating this as a separate object, although technically they're actually joined together with the auto weld feature. Now this might seem a little counterintuitive that you could draw a line, connect it, but then only delete part of the line that actually becomes a tremendous strength of this program when you're working with character design. For some of the things that you would use those other drawing packages for, yeah, that could be a problem. But this tool is really custom made for your needs inside Anime, and it's a wonderful execution of that. So let me go ahead and select everything else. I'll draw around that and delete. We'll start with the base of our tree right now using the Add Point Tool A. And the reason I'm going to use this instead of the freehand tool is that you notice the freehand tool adds many, many points 
to a line when it creates a line. And I don't want that many points because I have to manage those if I want to change the points. Now there might be a good argument to use that and let's take a look at the reasons why. First I'll draw with the add point tool. We'll create our initial tree trunk and then some branches and then we'll do the same thing with the freehand tool. I'll begin down where a root goes into the ground. I'll click and then I'll drag, click and drag. So I'm just creating some, some basic uh, roots to work with here. Now as it kind of uh, balloons up, that may not be the look we want. And I'll have that like it's going into the tree if we're going to do the top of a tree. Continue the trunk up, over, down. So really it's very, very fast to draw with. And then I'll join it back up and the shape gets completed automatically. This is where I would use my curve adjustment tool, keyboard shortcut C. Again, to go ahead and maybe tune some of those down. Maybe in a case like this, I would actually want to use the peak tool, keyboard shortcut P. In theory, if I press P, it connects. There we go. And do the same thing here. And we've got our basic shape here. I'd want a little adjustment with the curve tool selected. Let me go ahead and expand that a little bit. So there's some pluses and minuses. We've got a tree trunk that's really basic, just a few nodes that we can tune up, dial up, and move around. In our next move, we'll take a look at why this might be a good idea, but why not? And we'll finish the second half of this with the freehand tool.